But I didn't do nothing. Then why do I gotta go to your school? I don't know. JR's in trouble. Stop. If you didn't do nothing, that lady wouldn't call me. Now eat up, so you just can get the bus. What do you want? Where's Doug? He's on the run to Jacksonville. Won't be home till Thursday. Well, the roof's leaking, and I need some money to feed the kids. You need to learn to take care of your own problems. What do you want? Where's Doug? He's on the run to Jacksonville. Won't be home till Thursday. Well, the roof's leaking and I need some money to feed the kids. Well, you need to learn to take care of your own problems. <laughs> Mrs. McAndrews. Thank you for coming. First, let me express my condolences. I know you and Mr. McAndrews were divorced, but I'm sure it's still difficult. I don't understand. Shelby told her teacher about the accident. Usually when there's a death in the family, we get a call from someone. I'm sorry. Uh, I still don't know what you're talking about. Shelby's father. In the truck accident? He wasn't in no accident. He's on the road a lot, but he's okay. Oh, so no one died? No. Well, why would Shelby say such a thing? Has her father done something? What are you asking? When a child makes up a story like that, it can mean a number of things. If we have any reason to suspect abuse, we have to report it. Her daddy can be a jerk, but there's no abuse. He don't see them kids hardly at all. Can you please let me know what Shelby tells you? I want to be aware if she's developing a pattern of lying. My daughter said something that needs some explaining, but you don't need to be making a fuss out of it. Look, Mrs. McAndrews, I'm sure we both want what's best for the children. 